are ya? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that y'all are all staying safe and healthy. I put on a dress today to feel happy and it's working. And I'm actually so, so, so excited about today's video because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and something that maybe you can do along with me while we're all stuck inside. And that is completely organize my house from top to bottom. I am filming this video on April 1st, so I have been inside for, ooh, what day are we on? 15, 16 days now. So I'm really excited to have this project. And this video is not sponsored by, but it is kind of in partnership with the Container Store. They were so sweet. I told them about this idea and they sent me over a ton of amazing products to help me get this video concept made. So I'll be showing you a lot of their amazing organizing tools that I can link down in the description box for you as well if you're looking for things to organize your own home. But I will be doing my laundry room, part of my kitchen, my whole makeup collection, my closet, and one that I'm really excited for is that whole cabinet in my hallway needs a complete overhaul. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get to the very satisfying organizing. One of the first things I want to do is tackle my makeup. What I do right now, which is very inconvenient, is have all of my everyday makeup literally in a travel dot kit. And then I have the rest of my makeup thrown into these random bins, just, just thrown in, no rhyme or reason. So I have a kind of creative alternative to makeup storage that I got from the container store, I got a really cute filing cabinet, which I will show you here in a second. And then I got a ton of these super cute concrete containers. I got some squares and some rectangles that I have put in the file cabinet and a couple of these large plastic containers and actually pencil holders. I thought this could hold makeup brushes, lipsticks, a little bit of the taller type items. So let me show you the filing cabinet. This is what this looks like. And I figure eventually these handles can screw off and I could even try to find some really cute handles from like anthropology or something and really give this a fun look, but I love the retro shape of it. And this is what each of the drawers look like. So here is the first satisfying time lapse. I hope you enjoy the organizing process. I'm gonna put my everyday makeup essentials on the top here and then my less frequently used makeup in the lower drawers. Here we go. I saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name Next and biggest area of organization. Well, I don't know, laundry room's gonna be another big one, but is this cabinet, this is an absolute wreck, but it's like the biggest storage area in our home. I have beauty supplies, first aid, t-shirts, art supplies, electronics, swimsuits, paper towels, bags, important documents, like a little bit of everything. But I'll show you what I got for this space. I'm really excited about it and what my plans are. Okay, man, these are heavy when they're all together. So first, I got a ton of these blush organizers. They're all like folded up and stuck inside one of them because I think that this is going to look a lot better if every single organizer in there is essentially the same. And I think this blush color is really cute. And since it's hidden in a cabinet, I can have a girly color and it won't bother Brooke. Then I got a ton of boxes of these little labels that attach to the front of the organizers and you can write what's in each basket so that I can label what's in every single basket so it's easy to just pull them out and find what you need. I got some chalk pens to write what is in each basket and then I have a couple of these narrow kind of plastic containers for things such as my essential oil collection that is overflowing because it no longer fits in this little container. This container is significantly larger so hopefully it will be able to hold all of my growing collection. For this next hyperlapse, what you'll see me do is basically pull out everything and divide it by type into its own bin until that's empty. Label all the bins and place them all back into the cabinet so that it looks all cohesive and beautiful. So enjoy the next hyperlapse. Want 
And this is the final product of this shelf area. It feels like such a relief to have it all like uniform and pretty and organized and labeled and I know where everything is and it's a huge improvement from the before. So let's take a look at the before and after. The next project I'm a little ashamed to show you, but our laundry room, which is basically just a laundry closet, has kind of become a dumping ground for everything. So I have a plan to make it a little bit more beautiful. So let me show you how terrible it is. And well, you know, let's go make it better. <laughs> so this closet, it's gotten pretty bad. So much stuff is just dumped in here. I had Brooke install this shelf for me earlier this week. I'll show you what it looked like before I had the shelf installed, which is this. But let me go get the things I got to organize in here and we can do it together. Okay, so we keep a lot of dog things in here for Max. We have his food, his treats, his toys, his tools, everything. So I got a couple things to organize that. For his treats, I got this adorable glass jar. This is from the container store. It has this wooden lid. And I figured I'd just kind of mix all the treats in here together and be like a little treat trail mix jar of sorts. For his food, I just got one of these like super simple storage containers with the removable lid because I wanna be able to access it easily without having that big ugly food bag in the way. Then I have an array of these super cute baskets that have a wooden lid. They're stackable. I figured I could organize his tools and his toys and such and this and whatever other random things I need to organize in here. And then if there's space slash if there's additional things, I have a few more of these blush kind of divider containers that I could use to store a couple things on that shelf. But I don't know how many of these things I'm gonna realistically be able to fit in this space, but over prepared so that I can make it work, you know? A couple of these things like these shirts that have dried need to go away, so I'm going to do a little cleanup and then be back here and organize in the next time lapse. This is so much more organized. Okay, what I have, dog food, dog treat, detergent, backpacks, and then everyday dog essentials like the leash, the harness, an extra collar, dog tools like his brush, that whole thing, and then toys that we don't just have around the house, but like tennis balls and things that we take out of the house on special occasion. Oh man, I can breathe. This is the best. Another area that really bothers me is underneath our TV console here. We have our printer and printer paper and just random things. Another issue that we have normally is charging all of our devices. So I got a few things to fix the situation. One of them is I got this, it's so cute. Um, I figured I could store printer paper in one of them and then kind of other random journals or whatever else is in here in another drawer and set it on top of the printer and easily access that. Then I got this little charging hub. It has five ports in it to charge things like I have a battery bank. What is that called? Power bank? And I have camera batteries. I need to find, we haven't used them in a while, so I don't know where they are, but our Orange Theory bands, those are also charged with this type of thing. So I have already plugged it in behind this console and I'm going to organize our charging things in this. We could even put a laptop in here, a tablet, 
Um, obviously these little things will fit individually in these little slots. So I am going to attack this situation and get it looking much better. Cue the next satisfying montage. Get to know you, just wanna get to know you. I know, know you, but I want to. Significantly better. Ugh, that is another issue that is off my plate that I never have to think about ever again. Papers all in one spot and devices can all be charged in their own little house. <laughs> I have two more projects that I want to do. One is I bought this kitchen cart from the container store. And if you know my kitchen at all, it has no storage. So I'm hoping to utilize it to store some food storage and also some of Brooke's office supplies because he uses our kitchen table as his desk when he's working from home. So when office hours are over, I want a drawer to put his laptop and his mouse and all of those things away. And then I think I'm going to use the top of the kitchen cart as a little coffee station. So together, let's build that. And in the meantime, check out the before and after shots of this little project. Get to know you. Just wanna get to know you. I know, know you. But I want to get to know you. Just wanna get to know I built it. I built it twice because I didn't read the instructions and I first built it backwards and then I had to take it apart and do it again. But I did it. Read the instructions, ladies and gentlemen. It was actually quite easy after I figured out what I was doing. And there's four drawers. I'll show you the full thing. I'm thinking top drawer being some utensils that I actually now have like way back in a cabinet that I can't even really access. And then I'm thinking the next two drawers being food. We literally have food sitting on top of our fridge right now because we don't have a pantry and the rest of our food is in this credenza. So it's gonna be nice to have some more food storage. And then the bottom drawer being Brooke's drawer for all of his office supplies and things like that. It'll probably be me putting his office supplies away because boys sometimes don't think about that type of thing. And then I'm also probably gonna put our coffee pot on top of this and spread out the things on our countertop a little bit more so that there's a little more space to the eye. Ready, set, go. You make me nervous. Max and I have one final project and that is to organize my shoe storage. It's a mess right now. I'll bring you over here where you can see it a little bit better, but I just have too many shoes and not enough space. And I got this from the container store, which is a really nice espresso colored wooden rack that did not require building, so I didn't mess it up. You just unfold it and it just folds into place and it's amazing. So this is gonna be a nice, quick, little, easy last project. Then my whole house is organized and it feels so good. Come on over. Me too. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Now officially everything in my house is organized and this is like the highest level of satisfaction I've felt in a long time. I'm very pleased with it. One last final before and after. Oh, so good. So good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this productive feeling type video. If you do something similar to this, tag me on Instagram. I wanna see your before and afters. And thank you again to the Container Store for sending over these awesome products. I love them so much. Very helpful. I love you with my absolute whole heart and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.